bodies, 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 bodies. You too, team, keep it clean. Just signing it, it just reminded me of that scene because the Ravens clearly need bodies at linebacker. Um, both inside and outside, but AJ Klein, with them signing AJ Klein, uh, he's primarily an inside linebacker. Uh, so what does this say about the current group of Ravens inside linebackers? Well, uh, we'll dive into that in a little bit. But first, uh, so the Baltimore Ravens, they're signing linebacker A.J. Klein off of the New York Giants practice squad. Um, A.J. Klein, 31 years of age, so not too old. Uh, Jeff Zrebic highlighted that um, he's played in 134 career games, so he got a lot of experience um, and has had 80 starts. So he has a whole lot of experience, not just playing but experience starting, and that's big. That's very big. Um, now, this part, he started four games for the Bills last year. <laughs> so, not this year. Not this year, but last year. So, the Ravens were like, man, those Bills, whew, they sure put a hurting on us. That dude, Matt Milano, is a baller. Uh, Tremaine Edmonds, he's nice too. But, man, oh, oh, AJ Klein, oh, he played with them last year? Oh, okay, okay. So maybe, okay, we saw what those linebackers did. Maybe they could show our linebackers a thing or three um, about playing the position. So you know what? If we couldn't beat him, even though he was with the team last year. But if we couldn't beat him this year, even though he was with the team last year, let's have him join us. So welcome to the squad. Now, um, this is an interesting move because they signed him to the active roster. Normally, um, with the signing uh, of... A lot of players, uh, you would think, even some that have not even necessarily been household names, but more names that you're familiar with, um, usually those would be the ones that the Ravens would sign to the active roster. But this move, I, if, if you were to tell me they signed A.J. Klein, I would have thought, okay, they signed him to the practice squad probably. But no, he got signed to the Ravens active roster. And the thing with that, he was already on the I mean, excuse me, the Giants practice squad. So you can't go from practice squad to practice squad. No, uh, you have to go if you if the if a team takes you from somebody else's practice squad, you have to be put on the active roster. That's the way that that works. And and shout out to NFL for doing it that way because it helps those practice squad players out, gets them a nice nice uh uh nice check, a nice um nice raise, nice pay raise. That's that's what I was looking for. Uh, but with AJ Klein. Um, this signing, especially with them bringing on somebody that they knew would have to go on the active roster. What does it say about their current group of guys at inside linebacker? Um, this leads me to believe that uh, Patrick Queen will not be 24-7 uh, out there on the field anymore. Um, while he has not... It hasn't been like this thing with Patrick Queen where it's all bad and it's only bad and that's it. No, 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 no. But it's just been a lot of inconsistency. It's been a whole lot of inconsistency. And the thing with Patrick Queen, uh, one of the biggest issues has been uh, closing on the big plays. I think, that, I think that's what the biggest struggle has been. Closing on the big plays. Closing on the game-changing plays. Uh, and just really making those things happen. Because we've seen him make different plays throughout the game. We've seen him get sacks and all that. We've seen him make tackles, seen him blow up plays in the backfield, but it's just those big, and, and those plays certainly contribute a lot, um, but it's those big clutch moments, crucial moments where it's like, oh, he just missed it. Ah, he overpursued. Oh, he missed the tackle. Ah, he dropped the pick. And we're not here to single out Patrick Queen. But at the same time, when the Ravens bring in somebody at that position and put him on the active roster, because they, they had plenty of free agents that they could have signed to the practice squad, but no, they bring in somebody at that position and sign that position to the active roster. In my opinion, uh, that speaks to how they feel about their current state of linebackers. Um, especially because with Josh Bynes, we know during the game uh, the other day against the Bills, he had got hurt for a little bit. 
came off the field for a little bit, but it didn't look to be anything serious. And I do believe that he was practicing yesterday, too. So, um, I mean, it could be one of those things where they're just ramping up. Maybe one of their guys got hurt in practice yesterday. I, I, I don't know. I just, ah, I don't think that's it, though. I don't think that's it. I, I think the Ravens are looking for more quality uh, at inside linebacker. Now, um, this is one of those things where, again, Ravens told you. They told us, and, and, and I, I hate going back to this over and over, but, again, every time the Ravens make a move at inside linebacker, it just gives me that reminder that the Ravens, told they told us this offseason – we're not comfortable. We're not 100% sold on Patrick Queen. We're not 100% sold on Malik Harrison either. And I hope that those guys' careers take off. I was really hoping that um, we, like right now at this season, at this point in 2022, I was really hoping that, especially when Ravens drafted them in, what, 2020, I was hoping that, all right, this could be our new little one-two punch at linebacker. Like Patrick Queen and Malik Harrison, one got the speed, one got the thump. And Malik, hey, don't sleep on Malik Harrison's speed now too now. But I'm thinking, man, this could be such a great combo. The future linebackers for the Baltimore Ravens. This could be it. So I was thinking, oh, of course, two years later, they will have taken over that role by then. Not yet, though. Not yet. And honestly, I don't know if... It's one of those not yet type of things, or it'll be not ever. Well, that's a that's a legitimate question. It's a legitimate question. The way that things are headed right now for both of those two at inside linebacker, it's not looking like it's gonna happen uh, long term. But it's the jury's still out. The jury is still certainly it's, it's certainly still out um, because things could just turn around. But, again, signings like these kind of lets me know. And, hey, I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um, but it, it just lets me know, continues to let me know that the Ravens aren't sold. But back to what I was saying, even before, before this signing, even before they uh, brought back Josh Bynes again, and we know the reason that they brought him in in the first place, and this was before Patrick Queen, but in the first place, was because they weren't sold. Josh Bynes for the Ravens, he's old faithful. That's what we call Josh. Josh Bynes is old faithful. Because it's like, man, when things are going rough at inside linebacker, we just give Bynes a call. Give him a call. Um, that, and when they first brought Josh Bynes back, that's when they brought him and LJ Ford in. Because uh, it was um, Kenny Young and Peanut, and they were just struggling. It was rough. It was rough. So they... Gave Old Faithful a call. And shout out to LJ for it, too. Hope he's doing good, by the way. Uh, and I'm, you know what? I'm surprised. Like, still, like why, why didn't they bring him back? They keep bringing all these linebackers and whatnot. Why didn't they bring LJ Fort back? I mean, I, I think he would be recovered, fully recovered by now. Like, why not? You're bringing in all these other guys. Might as well. Couldn't hurt. Couldn't, couldn't be any worse. Um, But... Yeah, man, but they then and, and of course Bobby Wagner. We we all remember the whole Bobby Wagner thing. But again, that was a reminder that they aren't sold on their current inside linebackers. So now with AJ Klein, um, what can he bring to these Baltimore Ravens? Uh, I watched a, a little bit on him, um, and this this was one of the few times where I actually only watched highlights. There, there weren't that many, um, but. And that's not a, a shot at him at all. Um, but what I saw when I watched highlights, because this was one of the times, this was one of the few times where I wanted to see what are some of the best things that he does? What are some of his best attributes? What were some of his best plays that he's made throughout his career? And what I saw, um, the, probably the biggest thing was tips, was deflections was being in the right place at the right time when that ball was in on the way and him tipping it up in the air, him knocking it down, him hitting it up, him deflecting the pass. That's what I saw the most. And with something like that, um, that can have a big impact on a game. 
uh, because that can help cause a turnover. That ball goes flying up in the air. I mean, hey, we, we saw it happen uh, this past Sunday when Lamar threw the ball low and it went flying up in the air. And Jordan Poyer said, oh, this is for me. Thank you so much, Lamar. Um, but, yeah, those are, those tips, they can lead to picks and just so on and so forth. But um, I wanted to see what he did, what, what his specialties were, and maybe that's what the Ravens were looking at. Maybe they're looking at somebody to disrupt those passing lanes that much more at the linebacker position. Maybe they're looking for somebody else to be at the right place at the right time, even though he's not the fastest, not the strongest, not any of that, which is fine. You don't have to be. But maybe they're just looking for some maybe they're just looking for some solid depth too. Maybe they're just looking for a rotational guy, somebody where they can give Patrick Queen a break sometimes, somebody that they can give Josh Bynes a break sometime. Uh, Malik Harrison a break sometime too. Maybe that's what they're looking for. Um, I'm a little, I'm a little lost, uh, on this signing, a li- little bit confused on this signing, but, um, I mean, we'll, we'll find out, we'll, we'll start to find out, uh, over the next, um, I guess really over the next game or so. Now with, uh, Andy Isabella, didn't expect him to play this week. Uh, they haven't even officially announced the signing, but either way. I wouldn't expect him to play this week. But A.J. Klein, I expect him to play right away. I expect him to play right away. As soon as the signing is official, as soon as they make it happen, I expect him to be playing, to be active in this Bengals game. Immediately. Immediately. So, we'll see exactly how active he is. Uh, we'll see exactly what his role is going to be. We'll see exactly what type of impact uh, he has on the team. Um, y'all, of course, as I know y'all will, y'all let me know what y'all think uh, of the signing. Um, and, yeah, I guess that's that. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. Uh, I appreciate y'all very, very much. Shout out to AJ Klein. Welcome to the squad. And go ball out.